to be a red tail, but um, I would guess it's a red shoulder. Yeah, though. Yeah, it looks like I caught a glimpse of I saw a house like there. Is that private land? No, that's privately held land actually. Um, that guy's on that for a long time. And he actually, he doesn't live there day to day, but he's out here almost every week. So we're going to just step right out here. Hey, we're not going to be in the world enough to protect land. Oh, is this a trail? Sort of, yeah. Oh, what is that thing here? What's that? All right. So I'm going to pass this around to you. This is an 
old artificial cavity insert that we use yeah. for red cockaded woodpeckers. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Alright, so that got many years of use before the pine tree oh, died. Yeah, I'm gonna take the but if you look about 20 feet up that pine tree there, you'll see where we've inserted another one of those into I the tree there. The white thing up there? Yeah. You can see the little PVC ring up there. Yeah. I can't. Actually, you know what? Let me give you some binoculars there. Thanks. There you go. What does it look like? Uh, look below where the branches are growing. It's just. Uh, I see there's a hole in it. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. That's. So uh, you see what your dad's holding there? Yeah. There's one of those inside the pine tree. So I got some binoculars here if anyone wants to sort of zoom in on it there. Okay, now it's right where All right, you see the little junction? you see the little round hole there? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's okay. that's the that's the bird's entrance right there. All right. Oh yeah. Huh? Yeah, I noticed that the one, the one that we talked, passed around that had you want to check out the binoculars, bud? Oh, I need it. Will you they hold the binoculars the for a second, please? I'll hold them. Thank you. Here you go. Well, and we'll say that out here it's really variable day to day. Okay. Days when you got a sort of a constant breeze like this, I won't hear as many birds. Okay. But um, if it's a calmer day, definitely. Okay. Uh, I will say too, the pineland habitat that we're in. You need to be out here at daybreak or really early morning. You'll hear a lot of chattering, but okay. once it gets kind of hot out here, they quiet down. Quiet down. When do they get active again then? In the, well, oh, in the Pinelands, I'd say later in the afternoon once it's cooled down some. But if you go to a, a hammock where it's like really thickly vegetated and really shady, you're more likely to hear birds off and on all day though. Okay. But the Pinelands like this, yeah, the more open habitats, it's kind of quiet in midday for birding. Is there, is there a bird singing out? I don't no. see one. No, he's probably out. He's probably out feeding. Right they usually come out at do, like early morning and then they yeah, come back at dark oh, to go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I've got his cavity entrance. Um, okay. Focus like here on this? the spotting mm -hmm. scope. I found me. And if you look sort of at the bottom of your view there, really cool. oh, you'll yeah. notice there's a huge gash in the bark. Yes. All right. yeah. And really, you don't even need the scope. If you look up, yeah. up and down the trunk, there's mm -hmm. these sort of, I don't know, like half dollar size chunks taken out of the bark. Yeah. The woodpecker does that on purpose. The reason the In red cockpit woodpecker uses a living pine tree is it likes to damage the bark where the sap comes running out. Like that. And the whole trunk is sappy, especially near more closer to nesting season. It'll be like really gummy because it is a deterrent to rat snakes climbing the tree and stealing oh. the eggs or the oh, chicks. Okay. So you I can hear the sound from Oh, yes. All, we were down at the beach and one with a few finger chair. I didn't hear this yeah. last year. This is awesome. Yeah, cool. I saw all those tree swallows. I got them on phone. Awesome. No, no, the black racers different than the, uh, right now. the black racers are actually more closely related to like um, cobras and coral yeah, snakes. It's, uh, yeah, seeds and holes. They don't. Any constraints, you know, in terms of. I found that different. Mm -hmm. That's three cut off so to help no manage. Real way of knowing which one <laughs> well, if it's jet black with a sort of white belly, the black, black racer. Snake. Yeah. Black racer. Yeah. Well, white belly, yeah. But uh, there are there's a black rat snake, a gray rat snake. A red rat snake and a yellow rat snake. They're all here. They're all here. Yep. Yellow rat snakes are much more like coastal. They're usually only found on islands. I have okay. seen one out here.